हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट दैट विल हेल्प मी अलॉट टू रीच आउट मेनी मोर स्टूडेंट्स लाइक यू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सीज दैट डिटरमिन द स्मॉलेस्ट फोर्स पी दैट मस्ट बी अप्लाइड इन ऑर्डर टू कॉज द वन पाउंड यूनिफॉर्म क्रेट टू मूव द कोफिशन ऑफ स्टेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द क्रेट एंड द फ्लोर इज पॉइंट So now this main or worker is applying force P at a distance of three feet from the ground. So let's say that this is that crate, and that force P is applied at somewhere here, and the weight of the crate is going to act at its geometric center. Let's say, let's say this is the geometric center, and the weight is one fifty pounds, and uh, since Uh, we can see that this dimension and this dimension they are not equal so there may be a chance of tipping over so to avoid that tipping to counteract the tipping phenomena due to the application of this force p the surface will apply the normal force uh, at some point uh, which will be away from this particular line so let's say that the normal force of the surface is going to act at somewhere here let's say this is let's say the normal force and this normal force is let's say uh, is acting at some distance x in order to counteract the moment produced due to this force p so in order to um, cancel out the moment of this force p this n must be acting at some distance x from this particular point in the horizontal direction so let's say that the friction force is the friction force let's say that will be acting in this direction if this force p is trying to move the crate towards the left so the friction force offered uh, by the surface is this in this direction so let's say this is the friction force so now if we assume if we assume that that the crate is is on the verge of slipping so if the crate is on the verge of slipping then this the surface will offer a maximum friction force and that maximum friction force is always equal to mu s that is 0.5 times n the surface can offer this much friction so we can say that if for this assumption this force f must be equals to 0.5 times n so let me write it is 0.5 times n so now if the crate is on the verge of slipping the um, the the crate must be in equilibrium so if the crate is in equilibrium we can apply the equilibrium conditions so we can say that the summation of forces along y that must be equals to 0 and in the uh, in this direction that is our positive y direction this is our positive x and positive y direction so this is n this is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus n and the weight is acting in the downward direction so i will write minus 150 this is equal to 0 and the normal force offered by the surface is equal to 150 pounds this is the normal force which the surface is applying on the crate if it is on the verge of slipping now the the summation of forces along x must be equals to 0 if the crate is in equilibrium towards the right is our positive x direction So this force F is acting in the positive direction, and this is equal to zero point five times n. So I will write zero point five times n. N is one fifty, and uh, this P is acting in the negative x. So I will write minus P, and this is equal to zero. So from this we can say that P is equal to zero point five times one fifty, and this gives me P equals to seventy five pounds. So now if uh, the crate is on the verge of slipping this is that minimum force p which is required and let's say in now if this uh, the resultant normal force if let's say this is acting at some point o here let's say if it is acting at some point o 
So if our uh, if our assumption is right, if this assumption is right, then the summation of moment about this particular point O must be equals to zero. So the summation of moment about point O must be equals to zero, and the counterclockwise moment is positive. So now, as we can see, that this P force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. So we will write P. And the moment arm of this force P from that point O is 3 feet. That is the perpendicular distance. So we will multiply this with 3. And this is producing the counterclockwise moment. So we have to write plus. And this weight is producing the clockwise moment. So I will write minus 150. And the perpendicular distance of this 150 Newton force from that point O is this distance, which is X. So I will multiply this with X. And this is equal to 0. Uh, and if I write that this is, uh, we can write that minus 150x is equal to 3p, minus 3p minus will cancel out, so we can say that this is 150x equals to 3p. So 3p, uh, this is the moment produced by that uh, applied force. So this p is going to produce the counterclockwise moment and the weight is producing the clockwise moment. So the clockwise moment and the counterclockwise moment about point O must be equal to zero if this assumption is right. So now from this, if if from this assumption we get P equals to 75 Newton, so if I substitute P equals to 75, so we will get X value. So let me find the X value. That X is equal to three into P, which is 75 divided by 150. So this will give me X equals to 1.5 1.5 feet so as we can see that uh, the the maximum distance from this particular point from this particular line uh, for the x is 1 feet this is the this total dimension is 2 feet so we are considering this x from this particular line so this x can be equal to 1 feet this x can be equal to 1 feet or less than 1 feet. It cannot be greater than 1.5 feet. Uh, this x cannot be greater than 1 feet. Let me write that x. That x can be less than equal to 1 feet. This is due to the dim due to this particular dimension. This, this dimension is 2 feet. The width uh, of the crate is 2 feet. And since this x is considered from this geometric center, so this cannot be uh, greater than half of this dimension, which is 1 feet. So x can be less than equal to 1 feet, but from our assumption, we get x equal to 1.5 feet, which is greater than 1 feet. So this means that if we get x greater than 1 feet, our initial assumption is not right this assumption is not valid so we can say that if this x is greater than one feet the crate is not slipping the crate is not on the verge of slipping so if it is not on the verge of slipping this p force uh, p equals to 75 pounds is not valid so this x can have a maximum value of one so now if, if we substitute x equals to one in this equation or in this equation that will give us that minimum p so now we have to put x equals to one feet or uh, if the crate is not slipping and if x is greater than one feet this means that the crate is not slipping it is tipping so let me write that the crate is not slipping but it is tipping so if it is tipping, the x, the tipping will occur at this particular point, at this particular corner, and this particular corner is at a distance of one feet. So this means that if the crate is tipping, if our assumption is not right, the x is equal to one feet. So we need to substitute x equals to one feet in this equation or in this equation. So if I substitute this x in this equation, this will give us 3p minus 150 into 1 this is equal to 0 and we can say that 3p is equal to 150 and p is equal to 150 divided by 3 so p is equal to 50 pounds so that this is that minimum force p 
and now if the minimum force p is 50 pounds again um, since we have concluded that the crate is not slipping so if the crate is not on the verge of slipping this is this force f is not equal to 0 0.5 times n since our assumption is not right so uh, due to our assumption this friction force was equal to 0 0.5 times n so it is no more equal to 0 0.5 times n so we can say that we do not know the value of this small f so we need to remove this after assumption this we need to find this force f value now so now to find this force f again we can apply the summation of forces along x the summation of forces along x equals to zero if the crate is tipping so as we can see that this small f is acting towards the right that is in the positive x so i will write plus f and minus that p this p this is equal to zero and from this we can say that f is equal to p which is equal to 50 pounds and now as we know that the maximum friction that the surface can offer is equal to 0 0.5 times n so let me write that f max is 0 0.5 times n n is we know that n is 150 that is equal to 75 pounds so now when the crate is tipping the friction force that is offered by the surface is 50 pounds which is less than f max so this small f which is 50 pounds is less than that f max which is 75 pounds so this concludes that if this small f value is less than f max so the crate is not on the verge of slipping so if the crate is not on the verge of slipping our assumption is not right so from this conclusion we have further we have further came to the mathematical conclusion that uh, for p for minimum p equals to 50 pound the friction force is 50 pounds that is less than the maximum friction that the surface can offer and if this f is less than that maximum friction so the crate is not on the verge of slipping so the crate is not on the verge of slipping it is on the verge of tipping and tipping occurs before slipping so that p force that minimum p force is 50 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also like and subscribe uh, my channel for the solution of such more problems from engineering statics by Hibler.